Hello everybody, welcome back, C-Ray Tech here. So I was uh, on the Micromotor Warehouse community thread, which I visit, I don't know, a million times a day. <laughs> and I was sitting on the uh, Show Us Your Builds thread and a lovely fellow who goes by the name of AAA um, posted a build that he did and he used the DM002 frame. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that I did a giveaway for the DM002 quite some time ago. It's um, probably still one of the most affordable, um, ready-to-fly FPV um, micros that I've seen. I, I know at the time I paid, I think, $35 for it, which, um, I mean, even at that time, cameras were still going for about 20 bucks. So it almost <laughs> felt like it was worth it just to buy the camera and get some extra motors and stuff. So um, the original DM002 came with a pretty simple flight controller. It wasn't programmable. Um, it did okay. I, the DM002 flew pretty good, but I was just never, I don't know, I, it never tickled my fancy, I guess you could say. <laughs> It was fun to fly, but there was nothing really special about it. So after seeing that um, post from AAA, I was like, man, I got to throw a real flight controller in there, put maybe some faster motors and see what we can get. So for this one, what I did was I used, of course, the Beta FPV flight controller. I've got the 7 millimeter by 20 millimeter, uh, 17,500 kV motors. And um, I basically used everything that came with the DM002. I just had to make some slight modifications. So to start, um, this isn't complete yet. I haven't finished it all up yet. I just wanted to show you guys. But the first thing I did was... Uh, the first thing you should notice is these motor wires are a little too tight. Um, I might, I think, add some leads to it. Um, but I'm going to fly it around, test it, and see how it does first. So... Um, You'll see it fits in there perfect. Uh, I had to change the orientation, so I'll have to do, update that in beta flight. But, um, but yeah, I have a pretty good feeling this is going to fly really good. So this is how I mounted the flight controller. Um, the modifications that I had to make to the canopy were as follows. So as you can see here, um, there's these little clips that hold it in. This is where the uh, motor mounts are. So I ended up clipping those away, and then I had to... And I'm actually putting this on backwards. Um, there's a little clip here on the original that was used to harness the VTX, and, or I'm sorry, the camera, the all-in-one camera power. What I did is I cut both of these little clips off so I can run the antenna through the front, which you'll see here. And then I cut the clips off the side that hold it down, and then I actually widened the opening back here so I could put my power and my or both powers for the battery and for the camera through there. Um, I also had to flip around the camera case because uh, the original orientation called for it to be this way which fit the camera pretty well but um, that's not the orientation that I'm going to have the camera so I flipped it around and then I made a slight <coughs> uh, cut in here so that that way I could accommodate for this. This is a Beta FPV um, H01 camera or the VM275T. This is version 1.2. And then now it fits in there perfect and I can adjust my camera tilt. And one thing to note, <coughs> excuse me, that I found with the original DM002 is if this camera angle or uh, the, if it's pretty sloppy, all you'll have to do is just kind of bend these in a little bit. Uh, you can heat them up, which I recommend makes it makes it bending them a little bit easier. You're less likely to break them. So I'll go ahead and uh, yeah, bend these in whenever I have that problem. Now, as far as attaching this canopy goes, I think I'm going to go with the old uh, trusty hot glue here. And I'll show you how this fits. So I go ahead and I run the antenna through the top. Like I said, these motor wires are a little bit tight, but you can see it fits right over it perfect. You just have to kind of move your wires around so everything fits. And then, like I said, I think I'm going to use some hot glue on this, and then I'll probably just use a dab of hot glue to hold the camera in, or maybe uh, probably just a rubber band, actually. 
So um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, this is one way to turn the DM002 into a much better, more efficient flyer. Um, I know with these 720s, the first thing I want to do is definitely try the one of these Gaoning 450s. Um, yeah, I want to say, let's see, I think the total weight on this, now let's keep in mind I don't have props on, so let me throw some on real quick so you guys can see the weight of those. I think I'll be using, I'll use these King Kong props. Go ahead and throw these on. I'm not worried about orientation just yet. I just want to get the weight. I have to tidy, tidy up my wires in the back too so we don't get those all chopped up. Alright, so let's check up the olive weight. And then what I'll do is I'll throw on... So it looks like with the props for almost 31 grams. So that's not bad. I mean, that's about the same as what I'm seeing with uh, some of my other 65 millimeter builds. So we'll take a look at the this guy right here. Oops. So yeah, that one's, well, 25. So that one's actually much lighter, but... Um, I want to say I thought I saw one the other day that was about 30, well maybe that was with the battery. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. DM002 frame, uh, from what I hear, is pretty good. And when I flew it, it was uh, pretty robust, or I should say resilient. Um, I did crash it a number of times and haven't broken it, so it's got quite a bit of flex to it, so it should be okay. So um, yeah, I think that's going to be all for this video. I will post some flight footage uh, shortly after I get this video uploaded. And um, yeah, I think that's uh, all for this build. Uh, definitely check out the Beta 65S Frame Kits giveaway um, that I'm doing right now. Uh, I'm going to be drawing the winner on Halloween, October 31st. Um, all you have to do to enter is share the video and then post the link in the comment. And then I'll randomly draw a winner on the 31st. Um, if you guys have any more questions about this build or any questions in general, feel free to ask. Um, yeah, I think that's all. So as always, guys, fly safe and fly often.